Yo, what's good? Y2Cam back with another video. And as you see it in the background, we're going to be talking about Forspoken. Now, I want to make a disclaimer. This is not me shitting on the game at all, period. But you know, a lot of people out there shitting on the game because it's a woman protagonist, a black woman protagonist. That's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about Square Enix and why you should just, just kind of be careful. Because the last few games they put out been super mid, right? Final Fantasy VII Remake is mid. It's just made the nickel and dime niggas. I don't care what they fanboys tell you. Final Fantasy XV was mid. This made by the same people. And I'm going to get into that in a second. Kingdom Hearts Three was mid. Super mid. The problem with this is this. Uh, somebody texted me. Come on, bro. The problem with this, is, problem with this game is this, right? It looks just like a tech demo for the luminous engine and the luminous engine is what final fantasy 15 is running off of and this is what this was running off of and square and it's got a kind of little history of that where they put a lot of effort into the effects and graphics in the last few years and the gameplay and story has kind of suffered if you if you just kind of watch the gameplay like the particle effects is super bright and and and, and like over the top which is cool but i feel like they're trying to use that to hide something like the world they've shown you so far has been super empty. Now, I might be going off on a tangent here because a lot of games want to hide behind being a big open world and not giving you a full concentrated story effort. You know what I'm saying? It's just give you an open world and make your own fun, basically. And that's cool for some people, but a lot of the hype I'm seeing for this game coming from a lot of black women. And again, we don't get a lot of black protagonists. That's not a stereotype, let alone just the main character and then a black woman on top of that is super rare even more but i feel like they're trying to use that to get behind the fact or get away from the fact that a lot of the games have been mediocre in the last few years and this may be one of them now this might be fire this game might be fire when it come out it might be super dope and i'm just talking and i i own up to that but i'm just wanting to caution people because i feel like a lot of people are looking at Square Enix games and judging them from the wave that they've been riding for the last few decades, like the Super Nintendo Final Fantasies and the Final Fantasies from PlayStation. I'm here to tell you, bro, that time has come and gone. That's not them no more. That era of them being alive and making dope RPGs, they don't exist no more. They, they just now, it's more flash over substance. And the concerning thing for me is the people who made Final Fantasy 15 is working on this. I'm not the Final Fantasy 15 was trash, bro. It was straight trash. Anybody who played Final Fantasy 15, especially when it first came out, will tell you it was like a lot of graphics and nothing else. It was flashy graphics, flashy combos, but it was a bland world. The open it, like you could go like this. It was an open world. I'm, this is more open, but it was an open world and the towns were kind of sparse. There was no they didn't put any story into the world that you were in. They just tried to be like, well, it looked nice. You know what I'm saying? It, it looks nice when you do stuff, but there's, like I said before, it's flash over substance. And again, I just want people to be careful. I'm not saying that, you know, this game is going to be garbage and I'm not saying it's going to be the greatest game of all time. It could be. I just want people to kind of tailor their expectations because this is Square Enix and this is 2022 Square Enix we're talking about. We ain't talking about 1997 Square Enix or early 2000 Square Enix. We're talking about Square Enix right now. So I just want people to be careful to try to, because I'm getting a vibe, right, that they they try to use this, uh, having a black woman as a protagonist, and then any criticism lobbied their way as far as the game itself will be lost in the don't, you know, it's just the criticism coming from racism or whatever the case may be. Like, they companies real sneaky nowadays when they do that. But, yeah, man, um, just looking at the gameplay, uh, so from what I've been reading, they just came out with some gameplay 22 hours ago, right? But f basically, it's going to be an open world game, kind of like Elden Ring. So if you've been playing or looking at Elden Ring, it's an open world. You get to do whatever, go whatever, and you're, uh, you know, uh, in charge of your own story in that aspect. But just looking at the game, and I'm going to put this up here. It looked cool, but like, what else? You know what I'm saying? Like, what else is they doing to the game? Like... I don't know man It's just It's just not It's looking It's looking like it might be mid And it's a shame That it might be mid Because it's like They put all the effort Into the graphics And they put in all the effort Into making it look nice But What else is What else to there is it You know what I'm saying Like We'll have to see When it come out For me personally If I was to get this game I would not get it on release date Because Square Enix hasn't shown I'm looking at the game Square Enix hasn't shown me anything 
you know what I'm saying, to 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 gain my confidence back. And that's that's a shame if this game does turn out to be good because their past efforts has um led to someone who was a, a, a primary purchaser of their content to kind of shy away from anything they make now. And I'm just kind of reading the comments and I'm trying to sift through ones that look legitimate and not just straight up, you know, Reddit, 4chan, uh, incel talk. And I'm just looking at it. But yeah, man, it looked dope. I hope it's dope, but don't get your hopes up or, you know what I'm saying, just kind of come in with tailored expectations to understand that this is Square Enix in 2022. And the shit they've been putting out, man, been super mid. Like I said before, Final Fantasy 15 was the first uh, sign and, and the beginning of a long slippery slope of trash games that I've bought from them that have looked good and been hyped up and turned out to be trash. You know what I'm saying? The graphics and everything look nice and everything when you hit the enemy sparks and stuff flew off and the numbers is flying around. But when you get past all of that, it's not much there. So, uh, Final, Kingdom Hearts 3 was the same way. It looked nice. It was a lot of sparks and flashy stuff and it, it looks great to go to these different Disney worlds but when you get past that the story was lacking and it was not much there like you go to some of these worlds they were just giant arenas of emptiness it was like maybe an NPC over here and like a bunch of characters over here but the world the worlds themselves felt lifeless like I never would have had thought that going to a Toy Story world would feel so lifeless you know what I'm saying and Final Fantasy 7 Remake the story was just terrible and the way they did the uh, actual game releases where they're chopping it up and they don't really have another release date for the next one. It's just a mess. Square Enix has been in a mess when it comes to their RPGs. And I feel like the above all else, they're trying to use this as a tech demo because they're working on Final Fantasy 16 right now. And I feel like with this, they're trying to see what works and what doesn't. To be honest, and this just is me, I feel like this game is a piece or, or tech demo of Final Fantasy 16 just using a mage. So, you know what I'm saying? So, like, if you want to do a mage class, they just go in and, uh, well, we're just going to divert some uh, time and effort into this game and kind of tinker around to see what works and what doesn't work. You know what I'm saying? Game companies be sneaky like that. But, again, if it come out live, I'm hoping it come out live, but if it come out whack, I'm not surprised. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm trying to say. So, yeah, man, let me know down in the comments if you feel what I'm saying. I'm not trying to hate on the game because it's a black woman or none of that stuff. I'm just trying to be real that Square Enix has been trashed for the last few years now. And this look kind of looking the same to me, man. I've been there and done that. And then a lot of people aren't aware of what their track record is. So, yeah, man, let me know in the comments if you feel the same way. Um, I got some more Lifetime movie reactions coming out if y'all mess with that. Uh, I'll be back on Twitch maybe this weekend or something like that. So, pull up, pull up there. But on the... Yeah, man, y'all take it easy and I'm out. Peace.